The Drafts app for iOS is one of the, my most used apps on my iPhone and my iPad. And in this first episode of Working with Drafts, I'm going to show you just why it is so important in my overall workflow. Hello and welcome to this first episode of Working with Drafts. My name is Carl Pauline and in this episode I'm just going to take you through the reasons why I use Drafts and I'm going to introduce you to the Drafts interface so that you can see how to get the most out of it. Now in future episodes I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. Don't worry in this first episode all you need is the free version of Drafts 5 which is available on the App Store get it now. It's also available on the Mac now, but that doesn't quite have the same functionality. What I'm going to be focusing on in this episode is the version for iOS. It's brilliant. I use it every single day, multiple times, and I want to show you why in this episode. Okay, now the first thing before we go any further is I just want to give you the breakdown of the reason, the basic idea behind Drafts. Drafts basically is a text editor. If you like, it's a notes app but it has one distinguishing feature and the feature is is that you capture whatever it is on your mind it could be an idea it could be a link it could be a task whatever it is and then you decide where you want to send it now let's imagine that i'm rushing around i'm on the bus so i'm on a subway and i said oh great I, oh god must 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 collect this and then as i'm typing i'm thinking oh, this is a task and as i'm typing i realize actually it's not a task it's an idea, which means it would go into my notes app. Now, normally if you don't use apps, you're going to have to make that decision before you start typing. With drafts, you start typing. You get the idea or the task or the event out first, and then you can decide where to send it. So in my case, I can send it to Todoist, I can send it to Evernote, or I can send it to Fantastical, which will schedule or may create an event on my calendar for me. And that's the main reason behind Drafts. Now I'm going to take you into Drafts now. Now I should point out that I am actually using my old iPad, so things are a little bit slow. I generally use Drafts mainly on my iPhone, but I do use it on my iPad from time to time. Okay, let's go into Drafts now and I will show you exactly how to get the most out of this excellent application. Okay, so when we open up Drafts, basically what you get is this wonderful, wonderful screen. It's a blank sheet of paper with your keyboard ready to type in your idea. So this is a great idea. Now, the reason why I love Drafts so much is quite simply because Sometimes when I have an idea, I have no idea where I want to send it immediately. So I might think immediately that this is a, uh, a task. And so I just start typing. And I realize as I'm typing that no, it's not actually a task. It's really a note. And that's the key part of using drafts because you can open up Evernote or you can open up Todoist, which is the two uh, applications I use for my um tasks and my notes and I then realize as I'm typing I'm going oh this is actually a task and then if I really want to keep myself organized then I'm going to have to copy everything and then paste it in oh and it just becomes a mess with drafts I can capture an idea immediately and then I can decide where I want to send it so let's just say I've written this out it's a great idea and I realize okay it's not a task it's actually a note when you go into drafts, you'll see at the top on the right hand corner here next to the characters and word number is this uh, the drafts icon. If you click on that, that's going to give you a lot of options of where you can send it. Now, <clears throat> I've kind of pre pre organized this. I've got new note in Evernote, task in Todoist. These are all pre set up. I can copy it. I can copy it as an HTML. I can actually create an email from it. I can do I can create it as a message. I can actually bring up the share sheet. Now, if you want to use just the free version of drafts, the share sheet is fantastic because that has all your pre pre organized 
uh, options open to you. So here I can send it to Evernote, to Doist, Ulysses, tweet it, mail it, message it, send it to Instapaper if I really want to. But I can create whatever I want. So let's just hit my Evernote here. And that's now going to open up Evernote, or it's going to send it to Evernote. There you go. It's brought up. I have to point out that I am actually using my very old iPad here because um, <laughs> my main iPad has my current my main account on it, and I didn't want to mess my main account up. And then all I have to do is hit save, and that's going to go off to Evernote, and it gives you a confirmation that it is gone. And that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this setup. And another one I could do, same from the same note, if I want to, I can actually send the task to Todoist, it clicks, ba -bum, and it's gone, completely gone to Todoist. Absolutely wonderful. The note disappears because I've set this up so that it will disappear once I've set it up. And that's in the settings, which I will go into later. But for this first episode, I just wanted to show you how and why I use drafts. Drafts free version will give you enough options for you to actually send notes to Evernote or send notes to Todoist, OneNote, or pretty much any application. And I should point out, if you go into the share sheet, down at the bottom, it says apps. And what it does is it looks for the apps that you have on your device. So I, on this particular device, I don't really have very many apps because this is my old iPad is what I use for reading. But essentially, I've got Ulysses on there, so I can create a sheet in Ulysses. There's so many options that you have open at OneDrive. You, can, you know, there's so many things that you, would, you can set up. And all you have to do is set it up as and when you complete it. And that's really all I wanted to cover in this first episode. Drafts is an amazing application. And Drafts 5, because it's free, you have enough functionality in the free version to really get the most out of Drafts. And as I say, the biggest plus point for me is that normally when I have an idea, I'm not entirely sure when I start whether it's a task or whether it's a note. At least with drafts, I get the option to choose after I've collected the note. And the key is collection. It really does speed up the whole process. Well, thank you very much for watching this first episode of my Working With Drafts series. I don't know how long this will be, but Drafts is an amazing application with incredible power. And over the next few weeks, I'll cover quite a few of those additional items that you can get the most out of Drafts. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.